Repowering older wind farms to the latest generation of wind turbine technology can increase production substantially. Repowering is hugely important to support the ambitions of net zero. That additional renewable energy that's being put onto the grid can help to displace the need for fossil fuels. A lot of the oldest wind farms in the world were installed also in the best wind resources in the world. That means excellent wind speeds, proximity to load centers, proximity to transmission lines, and also access to the trained technicians that are used to maintain these assets. For that reason, many of the asset owners around the world are now thinking about what to do with these world-class wind sites, and repowering them is a really good option. Repowering allows us to take an existing site where we've got older turbines that are of a smaller capacity and replace them with far bigger, more efficient turbines. Hugely increase the capacity of the site, sometimes up to 10 times. Be able to keep the benefits to local communities through the, the funds that we have in place. Increase generation and improve our drive for net zero. By the end of this decade, Wood Mackenzie estimates that about 20% of the overall installed base outside of China will be reaching the end of its original design life, leaving many of these asset owners to consider what they're going to do with the next phase for these amazing wind resources. Europe has already repowered about 14 gigawatts of wind energy across the continent. That's out of a total of 270 gigawatts that's been installed to date, so just under 5%. We expect to see a lot more repowering happening over the next 10 years, tripling the amount of repowering that has already been done. Wood Mackenzie expects that over the next decade in the United States, repowering activity will drive between three and six billion dollars of spend each year in partial repowering activity. The wind energy industry has already installed over a terawatt of installations globally, so keeping that operating base running, maintaining and upgrading turbines is a huge part of the business opportunity for all the companies active in the industry. Scottish Power Renewables have got a number of sites that we are working really hard looking at how we repower and increase the output. Hagshaw Hill was one of Scotland's first commercial wind farms. The original site generated around 15.6 megawatts from 26 turbines. The new site will be able to generate around 79.8 megawatts with 14 turbines. Three of the new turbines will be able to generate the entire output of the original wind farms. When we're working to repower a site, we really need to look at how we unlock some of the challenges that can stop us from building, whether that be finding the right route to market. It's looking at how we work with planning to help us speed up. We really focused on working with local authorities and governments to help us expedite that as quickly as possible. Ibadrola have just launched a company, Energy Loop, that are focused on recycling turbine blades. We've looked and investigated it in other areas, so using bus shelters or other components to help build bridges. Here at Delane House, we are looking to, to reuse one of the nacelles for training purposes, so looking wherever we can to either reuse, repurpose or recycle the turbines. Wood Mackenzie expects the wind energy market to increase substantially over the next decade as the global community looks to meet ambitious climate goals. When we look at a wind site, some of them are coming to their end of life. By repowering them, we're not only able to replace the capacity, but increase the output of the site, which really helps us take huge steps forward towards net zero.